Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. I want to bring to you another true story. Now, you guys know that I can't pronounce these names properly, so please always be patient with me. I know I'm not pronouncing them properly. I'm just trying to share with you another devastating true story, if that's okay. This is the true story of Zheng Wu Wang. She was arrested in China in 2015. She's been in prison for 709 days. She was the deacon and the accountant of the Living Stone Church uh, located in China. What happened is the secret police came and grabbed her when she was um, at a beauty shop, maybe getting her hair done or doing whatever, and they hauled her away and her husband also with the children. The police took them all away to prison. <laughs> now the husband and the children were released, but they kept, uh, they kept Zhang for two years now. They took all her computers, her USB and hard drives and everything else. Why, why are they doing this? I, I thought China was being modernized. I thought China was building gigantic cities like the United States. Listen, there is terrible, terrible Christian persecution going on in China, but it's being covered up. It's being covered up now. And during Zhang's interrogation with the secret police, they didn't ask her any questions about the church. What they wanted to know is who all the other members were so they can go arrest them all also. She was the deacon of the church. They had 700 members. But the church was considered a house church. What that means is the Cornerstone Church was, I'm sorry, Livingstone. Livingstone Church was not a official government-sponsored church, if you know what I mean. This was a real church where people read the Bible and worshiped God and his son. And because of that, that is illegal in China. And by the way, that's coming to the USA also. You might not believe me, but it's coming here. So what they did is they arrested Zhang and a bunch of the other leaders. They fined the church a million dollars. They froze the church's bank accounts and they confiscated all of the property. That's what's going on in China if you want to know the truth. Zhang has two children. They, Zhang and, and, and her husband, they, they have a son and they adopted a daughter. And her husband's name is Chen. They gave her five-year sentence for being the deacon of a real kingdom of God church with 700 members. If you want to pray for her and the family, praise God. So if you're an American or living in the Western world like I am, maybe United States, Canada, Germany, Italy, England, France, etc., etc., and you have a house or a condo, if you have a car or a motorcycle, if you have plenty of clothing and good health, if you can read the Bible without the secret police showing up, beating you, torturing you, and giving you a five-year sentence, you are super blessed. You are super blessed. 
Amen.